Hey guys, Gizmodict here and this is my review of the Zenbook UX303. It is a solidly built and a lightweight ultrabook from Asus and it reminds me of the MacBook in a lot of ways. It comes with the latest generation of Intel processors and it packs in quite a bit of performance in a thin form factor. So is this ultrabook from Asus worth considering while buying a new laptop? Let's find out. Starting things off with design and build quality, the Zenbook UX303 scores well. It has an all-aluminium body and it feels quite sturdy to use. The metal body gives it a very solid and a premium feel and since it just weighs around 1.4 kilos, it reminds me a lot of the MacBook Air. In spite of being thin, it has an array of ports which consists of a full-size HDMI port, mini display port, an SD card reader, three USB 3.0 ports and a 3.5mm combo jack. Asus also provides the Ethernet and VGA adapters with this laptop, so input and output is not a problem here. On the bottom of the laptop, you have four rubber feet that hold the laptop well in its place along with the air vents for airflow. It was quite a bad choice to have those heat vents at the bottom of the laptop because it gets quite uncomfortable to use this laptop on your lap if you're doing some CPU intensive task. The bottom of the laptop does get hot, so you would definitely need a cooling stand for this laptop. We do have Bang & Olufsen powered speakers, but they don't sound that great and they won't replace a proper set of speakers. There are also a few air vents around the hinge of the laptop and talking about that hinge, it is very well made. The aluminium construction gives it a very solid feel and you can easily lift the lid up with a finger without the laptop moving from its place. The lid has the ASUS logo on the front which is not backlit and it does have a little flex to it but that's fine because the laptop is quite thin. The keyboard however is solidly built. The keys are laid out very well and the 1.5mm of travel makes it very comfortable to type on. In fact, I noticed that I made less mistakes while typing on this keyboard compared to some other ones that I've used before. The keyboard is also backlit so you can type on it in the dark. The trackpad is also very responsive but I did not find it that smooth as compared to the one on the MacBook Air. So overall the UX303 is built solidly well and it definitely feels like a premium ultrabook and ASUS has done a great job here. So a big thumbs up to them in the build quality department. Moving on to the performance side of things, my laptop has the i5-6200U CPU with 8GB of RAM and 1TB of SATA hard drive. The SATA hard drive is quite disappointing on an ultrabook and ASUS should have gone with an SSD. The UX303 outside India is available with an SSD, so that's good. To anyone who's buying the laptop with the SATA hard drive, I would request you to please upgrade to an SSD because SSDs are not that expensive now and the performance gain that you get from an SSD is something you cannot miss. So do get an SSD and trust me, it makes a difference. The 8GB of RAM on this laptop is adequate and I had no problems in multitasking on it. The i5-6200U does a great job in handling things and I could edit 1080p videos on it with some color grading without any kind of issue. 4K editing might be a bit taxing on it but 1080p edits work just fine. This laptop also has the NVIDIA GT940M graphics card which is okay when it comes to performance. Less demanding games might run on 1080p with decent frame rates but for something like Crisis 3 or Battlefield 4 you do need to drop down your settings to 720p. Higher end games actually work quite well at 720p with low settings, so you can easily have a decently playable frame rate if you don't mind turning down the settings. So that's quite good but the CPU temperatures were a little high after 30 minutes of intensive gaming. And as I said before, the bottom part of the laptop dissipates a lot of heat so that might become uncomfortable. However, the palm rest of this laptop remains cool under normal use and gets a little warm only after doing some intensive tasks. The UX303 comes with a Full HD display or a QHD Plus display and it also has an option of a touchscreen depending upon your country. My laptop has the Full HD display without a touchscreen and it actually is quite an impressive panel. The display has a matte finish to it and I really like it because it eliminates all sorts of reflections on the screen. The color reproduction is also nice and the viewing angles are also good. 
The ambient light sensor though is quite finicky and I just disabled it and controlled the brightness manually. Watching movies or playing games was a very good experience on it and Asus has done a great job here. They have also included their splendid utility which lets you fine tune your display settings. The battery life was decent on the laptop and I think I got around 5 hours of normal usage from the laptop so that's quite good. The UX303 comes with Windows 10 out of the box and for some reason Asus loves bloatware so this one also comes with a few Asus apps as well as the McAfee security app which I think is completely useless. Asus also bundles a nice carrying sleeve for the laptop inside the box which is a good thing to have. So overall the UX303 is a very capable ultrabook. Asus I feel is an underrated laptop brand because they actually make some very solid laptops. I can very well recommend the UX303 as it has a decent set of internals, a good display, a solid build quality and a good battery life. The only thing that I did not like about this laptop is its heat dissipation mechanism and the Bang & Olufsen speakers. Apart from that, the Asus UX303 is a solid choice and you can definitely go for it. I hope my review has helped you out and if you liked it then do show your support by liking and sharing the video. Do subscribe for more laptop reviews. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.